This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 8, Creating Functions with Parameters, Part 15. Random Input. You have a new block that allows you to generate a random number. You can use this instead of hard coding in, which is like assigning, I guess, values every time you call you call a function. Yes, this is awesome, and it's critical. And since this is all based on JavaScript, what we're doing, um, there is something that represents this in JavaScript, so cool. Read the documentation for the random number block, and to do that, we would just go find it. It is under math, and boop, and see examples. Here's our documentation. So we need a minimum and a maximum, right? We have a parameter for the minimum and maximum. It will then choose a number each time the code goes over it, between the min and the max. So if you use random number twice in your code, each time it will likely be a different number. You're going to need to assign it to a variable if you want to use the same random number more than once. It'll make more sense as we go through, but this is awesome. It's super useful. All right. Use random number to provide random input to all three of your functions. Just insert the call, the call to random number where you're you would otherwise put numbers. Use random number and calls to all three of your drawing, your drawing functions. Yep. This is a great way to test out your functions and also get some interesting looking images. Every time you run the program, you can get slightly different looking scenes like the ones below. Oh. I can't tell, but I do not believe, okay. It doesn't look like they are using it for color, judging by the examples, but we could. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Now, so to use it in our functions, we do not, we do not, do not put it in your function uh, definition, right? This is where we create our function. This is the function definition. If I put random number here, we're going to get an error. What the heck is size? It doesn't know what size is. I'm going to hit Control-Z to undo. That is not how you use random number. Because you want to be able to, ch you want to be able to still use the parameter sometimes in a different way, right? So if you call, you're going to use random number when you ask the computer to run this function. So the computer sees a function but does not run it. It just knows it is there. It only runs it when we ask. So the computer starts running code way up here. And it says draw starfish. Oh, okay, I need to run draw starfish. Well, where's that? Is there code called that? Oh, yep, here it is. Size. What size? I think I had 80. And then it's going to run through all of this. And when we get to move forward, 80, 80, 80, right? Because it knows size and the function call was 80. You do not want to have random number here because that's not a parameter. A parameter needs to be something, uh, a variable to represent something. All right, so do not put random number there. We're, we also sometimes will want to draw a starfish that is exactly 20, right? So you want to have that parameter there so you can change it up exactly how you want, not so it's a random number inside of it each time. That's not our goal. All right, so we're going to put random number here, and I'm going to say 20 to 90 maybe, and then I'm going to drop it in here. I'll do the same thing, I guess. 20 to 90, seagrass, we're only putting this in function calls. Again, I can't highlight that enough. I'll say 50 to 120. Okay. And then draw a fish. I'm going to put it here. And I guess 20 to 50 or maybe 10 to 60. Nah, I'll do 10 to 50. Okay. And if you want, you can use it for color as well. I don't believe they did, okay? But maybe I will just for this one, right? So I'll do 0 to 255, and I'll get a random red color. I could do it for all three of these because this is our blue parameter and our green parameter. But I'll leave those at 0. Let's test. Whoa. And you see how it changes and our red's changing up? I kind of love this. All right, I'm going to add it just because I want to. 
for the blue, red green param for the green parameter. Let's try it now. Oh, cool! Orange. Uh, different type of green. Oh, I love it. Cool. Um. Uh... And it looks like they might have actually had it for theirs. Because their fish is... Oh, okay. Maybe they did. Their fish slightly changes color. So I'll add it to both. And I'm saying 250 because... Uh, 255 because it's 0 to 255 is the max color. You can look at the documentation if you forget. And so each time it runs our function now, these are going to be random numbers. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Let's keep uh, going. 